Welcome back to Better Kansas City. You know him from his roles on House of Cards, Billions, and Gotham, and now you can see him on stage in a theater in his hometown. Welcome back, actor Nathan Darrow, who is now on stage at Casey Rep's Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. So, you know, first question, right? What's it like being back in your hometown after you've done all this stuff in Hollywood? Um, gee, I don't know. Um, it's always great to be in Kansas City, of course. Mm -hmm. um, also, uh, Acting for me is a very challenging and interesting experience. So when I'm doing it, if I'm rehearsing or if I'm performing, I'm not usually very conscious of where I am, whether it's Hollywood or Pennsylvania or Kansas right. City. Um, and then on the third hand, uh, I was a professional actor here for uh, a local actor here for like six years. So I, I know a lot of these artists, a lot of these actors, and some of whom I'm working with in this play. And that's that's a wonderful feeling to be working with people I know and trust and go back some years with. That has to be, and sort of like a homecoming. And of course, we're all very excited, um, of course, wanting to check out that play. Now, you've had some amazing roles in very well-known shows with like House of Cards and Gotham. Mm -hmm. Do you ever get recognized as like Edward Meacham or like Mr. Freeze, anything yes, like that? Yes, it does happen. Um, <clears throat> usually I'm recognized mm -hmm. as Edward Meacham. It's rare that I'm recognized as Mr. Freeze because he's got all that stuff on. He looks different, yeah. Yeah, and then uh, also occasionally I'm recognized for the, the character on Billions. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's always nice. So do people ever ask you about Claire, like that whole situation that played out in the show? Oh, you mean the... The, the like little love triangle yeah, thing? Yeah, the love triangle. <laughs> um, not necessarily uh, like a stranger on the subway. Right. Uh, Occasionally, people, of course, people do when if they have some time and they want to know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's switch gears back because you're here for on stage theater. You know what keeps drawing you back to that stage, and is that preparation different than what we would see you do for a TV or like Netflix series? Right. Um, I think I think maybe I would I would alter the wording of the question to answer it. I, I don't I don't see it as going back to anything. I mm -hmm. just see it as going forward into the next thing. And when it comes to theater, I. Uh, I never want to stray so far that I feel like I've come back. So, mm -hmm. um, you know. Um, so you like to focus on both aspects. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love to act. And uh, wherever that happens, and if the material is interesting, I would like to do it. If it's on an iPhone camera or if it's in the middle of some place I've never been. Wow, someone who just really loves their crafts. That's so exciting to hear. Yeah, yeah, I do. And as far as your question about the preparing, uh, I don't see how it's different. Uh, the only thing that makes preparation different, and this just depends project to project, I think is just the time that you have. Okay. And sometimes on camera, maybe you have less time. Maybe you got the script like a few days ago or a week ago. Right. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Now, you're here for Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Of course, this being a masterpiece by Tennessee Williams that also won a Pulitzer Prize. What does it mean to you to get to act in this play? Oh, my gosh. Um, uh, Tennessee Williams is among the most um, compassionate of writers mm -hmm. and talented of writers and in this play he turns that compassion and that humor on a family in a common crisis and um, the effect uh, so far on us the company and on the audiences that have seen it is uh, is deep and profound and uh, that's uh, aside from enjoying mm -hmm. just acting as it is um, you know, I'm also in this to try to make experiences for myself and others, and I think this play continually has the power to do that. Well, very well said there, Nathan. Thank you so much. And of course, you can catch this with the KC Rep. That is Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, again, by the Kansas City Repertory Theater through September 29th. Thank you again, Nathan. Thank you.